to Carol to work out time. Yeah. You know, he's a little out of practice. Okay. Okay. Very good. Booker Tom Pavatella. A section of a tour devoted to oaths, vows, and the importance of telling the truth. To be truthful, I found it a little dry. But <laughs> we are in luck. This week just happens to be a double portion. We also read from Parshat Masay, the last chapter of the Book of Bami Bar, and that is what I would like to speak about today. In Parashat Masay, after 40 years of wandering, the Israelites who went forth from Egypt are about to reach their destination. So, God gives Moses detailed boundaries on where each of the tribes will live when they come into the land. Just like the members of the tribes in this parasha, before this month I was anticipating my arrival to Israel. I was imagining what it might be like, but I really needed to see it with my own eyes, to feel it with my own hands. And now, after the past two weeks, I have. I have stood with my toes in the sand on a beach in Tel Aviv, a portion of the land given to the tribe of Don. I've breathed the mountain air and swat and walked the ancient streets, not much different from my members of the tribe of Naphtali also walked there. I swam in the Dead Sea, given to the tribe of Judah, and today I stand before you in Yerushalayim, the city of David, originally given to the tribe of Benjamin, and chosen by Solomon as the site to build the Beit Hamikdash, over there, <laughs> as I take my place as a full member of the Jewish people for the first time. <coughs> I am humbled to do it in these surroundings, and I am grateful to Rabbi Lewis and Mr. Judenberg for their help in preparing me for today, to my sister Shira, to my parents, and to all of you for sharing this most special moment with me. Rosa, you spoke beautifully, loudly, slowly, and clearly. Okay? Beautiful job. And this is not just a double parsha, but it's a double simcha for all of us because we share in the simcha back home with seeing you and your wonderful family every Shabbos. It is a delight to be able to be here with your family and your extended family. Your life has been forever changed and the beauty of your Devar Torah which reflects a boring beginning but ultimately a wonderful journey that you talked about. And you're on that journey and even though you have ended up today in Eretz Yisrael in the land of all of our ancestors it is not the end. We know it's going to continue on. Your studies, your reading the book, The Source. Have you finished it already? No, I'm on page 18 or something. 18, okay, so you'll be finished by lunch. But whatever it happens to be, a good page. you are really immersed in, uh, in what the experience is here. And we cannot be prouder to be able to share this great and delightful uh, simple with you. I remember that we have the uh, sometimes lunch, not the lunch and learns, but uh, what are they called? Achare Kiddush. Achare Kiddush. Okay, I remember because Jeffrey was involved in them. And I used to sit in on a couple of them. And I have to tell you, you participated with such wisdom and such insight that you were years ahead of your time. And so I look forward to being a part of your life, seeing your mind and your neshama, and you as a beautiful young lady grow to be a source of nachos to all of us. So a mazel tov to you and to your sister and to your father and to your mother and to all of us who are here today making this special. Jessica, I know you have 58 seconds. 58 seconds. You timed it, you said. Okay. Wait, wait, this is for you, Rose. I know, I know. If you, you want, ready? but I'm going to take a picture. Rose, as you know, I never had my bat mitzvah when I was your age. When your dad and I joined at Chaim, I had the chance to join the B'nai Mitzvah class at our synagogue, and it was a really special time. And you actually became kind of the mascot, first in my belly, then in your little car seat, and in your stroller at our evening classes, the rabbi remembers, and you didn't cry, and then even finally up on the bima during parts of our service. So, like I said, it was pretty special. But this trip, this day, gives a new meaning to the word special. To be in Israel with you, with my family, with the rabbi who's known you since birth, with so many members of our congregation, is just special more than any words can say to have you celebrate your bat mitzvah here in Jerusalem. So I just want to tell you that I am so proud of you. Your preparation for this day, your performance on this day, mostly just for your beautiful Jewish spirit. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Yes, please. Thank okay. You. Oh my goodness. Rosa, we all put our shekels together <laughs> because we wanted you to have something from all of us. Oh, so you're so you sweet. Tadara ba. Are we supposed to do it now or later? Whenever you want. Can I help? Yes, help me. Yes, Okay, there's um, this is a card, so could you please Oh my goodness. This? 
Oh, how That's beautiful. So I need to keep it in the bubble One of the pictures space. that we took today, you'll put oh, in there. Yes. From today, we'll find a perfect one. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. And Chase? Chase? Because we, uh, <laughs> we will always remember this and the beautiful job you've done here and in the synagogue at this time. And we want you to have this as well so you remember all of us. <laughs> and all of your help when we didn't know the answer to a few questions. That's right. <laughs> we are going to conclude in a moment with the Birkat Kohanim, which is a blessing that we have all heard. I recited it at baby, at your baby namings, at B'nai Mitzvah for many, many of the kids here for some... At your wedding? At your wedding? Anybody else? Any other weddings I did here? Oh, oh that's right, on the beach. How soon they forget. How soon they forget. That's right. And it is a bracha that is amongst the most beautiful words in our tradition. And you know where it was recited? Right up there. And the Beit HaMikdash was around. It was recited up there. So come here, face me, sweetie. Okay. This is a photographic moment. Yevarecha Adonai Vishmarecha, Yaer Adonai Panave Lecha Vichunecha, Yis Adonai Panave Lecha Vyasem Lecha Shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May He cause His countenance to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may He give you a long, happy, creative life filled with all of God's blessings, as we all say. Amen. Mwah, mwah, and mwah, mazel tov, mazel tov. And folks, we, I'll be here for pictures, and feel free to take pictures. Use me, don't use me. I'll be here for pictures. You know, you know. Photographs okay. later on. And uh, we'll have uh, some of the pastries, okay? Be clean. Keep this clean because technically we're not allowed to have this here. But 